Good evening and welcome to yet another freaking scene in the Republican presidential debate. I am the son of the abominable snowman, Wolf Blitzer, and I will be moderating tonight's debate. Let it be known that the only reason I'm here is because I heard there were some Katy Perry concert tickets up for grabs if I went through with this, and I just couldn't pass that up. Now, without further ado, let's meet the candidates. We have business mogul, and for lack of better words, the party silly goose, Donald Trump. Texas Senator and Kermit the Frog lookalike, Ted Cruz. Florida Senator and professional liquid connoisseur, Marco Rubio. Neurosurgeon and underground street rapper, Ben Carson. And I think that's everyone. Now hold on a second. Now, our first question tonight is for Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, there have been numerous concerns regarding your eligibility, eligibility, eligibility to run for President of the United States when you were undeniably born in Canada. How do you respond to these claims? Well, Wolf, uh, can, I, can I call you Wolf? I would actually not prefer well, that. Well, you see, Wolf, if you look right here, Wolf, if you look right here, okay, you look, if you see right here, you see, you look right here, Wolf, you see, you have to look right here, Wolf, you have to see, look, look, right here, okay, look. Okay, most people making these said allegations about me are typically coming from people named Donald Trump, and I find it quite inappropriate that he would criticize me for an issue that's not even... Hey, Ted, shut your pie hole, you disgusting pile Excuse of... Excuse me, Mr. Donald, it is not your time to speak yet. All right, listen, I, okay, 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 frankly... Frankly, I love Ted Cruz. Okay, I love him a lot. Okay, he's great. He's great. He's so great that I might even let him double date with me and my daughter. Okay, but frankly, frankly, okay, frankly, he's also a horrible person. Okay, he's quite frankly a disgusting human being. Look at him, okay? He looks like he's made of jello pudding, for God's sakes. Hey, look, Donald, you better watch your mouth. I have excellent skin. My skin jiggles and wiggles when you poke it. The kids love it. You can actually book me for birthday parties at tedcruz.org. Uh, shut up. I would never book a stupid Canadian like you. Donald, I really don't appreciate these mean statements. Y you should try using kind words instead. I, I don't know why you feel the need to attack people left and right. Shut up, you lousy turd. Yes, I may get in on this. I just want to say that, for the record, respectfully, that if your hair looks like a pile of squirtable cheese, you legally shouldn't be allowed to run for President of the United States, respectfully. Yeah, listen, okay, at least I didn't chug eight gallons of NyQuil on the way here. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I may have smoked some of that good stuff backstage, but that doesn't mean I can't take your orange rear to smack town and backhand your cotton candy tube pay off your stupid orangutan face like the diarrhea-infested self-loathing sewage pile you are. Ben, Ben, let's not make any threats now. You know what happened last time you pulled out the surgical scaffold. Well, if Trump keeps up this trash talk, I may have to go complete savage up in this crib. All right, you have fun with that. The next question is for Marco Rubio. Senator, you have been criticized as repeating your generic tagline over and over again when you feel threatened. What would you like to say to that? Well, Wolf, I would start off by saying that we need to dispute with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, yes, we, we get that, Mr. Marco, but if you could answer the question, that would be great. Yes, Wolf, and that's very important, but first we have to disprove this notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. The Department yes, yes, of... that's very nice, Mr. Marco, but well, you're kind of making about my that. point But I do me. know that we have to deal with this lunacy that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, would you just look at him? He sounds like a, uh, uh, oh, what are, what are those things called again? A C CD player, VA VHS... Reco record play yeah he sounds he sounds like a broken record player is it my turn to talk yet hey, sh shut up Kasich. nobody wants to hear from you oh and frankly you look like groot oh now this next question is for john Kasich. wait really oh 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 my god thank you thank you so much oh wait nope it says donald trump <laughs> sorry i'm legally blind didn't you drive here I flew a helicopter here, but that's not the point. The question I have for Mr. Donald here is regarding your little brawl with the Pope. Ah, uh, the Pope. Nice guy. Wonderful person. Amazing. Truly terrific. Yeah, he said you weren't a Christian. As I was saying, okay, he's a disgusting human being. Truly horrendous. Okay, look, he's a filthy liar, and frankly, I would rather follow Smith Joseph, or whatever the Mormons call that guy these days. And trust me, I'm very good with the Bible, okay? Christians call me the Bible machine. That's how good I am. I'm better than you would think. I'm better than the Pope, okay? Quite frankly, I'm just better than him. I'm confused. Why is the Pope mad at Donald? Oh, Donald didn't invite the Pope to his cocktail party last weekend. Of course I didn't invite him, okay? He lives too far away, okay? I mean, he lives like two Corinthians away from my penthouse. Now wait just a minute. I was not invited to that party either. Well, of course not. You're an imbecile. 
I even have your address. Oh yeah, pudding face. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna build a wall around my house so you can't get in. And guess who's gonna pay for it? Hmm? Guess who's gonna pay for it? Canada. Canada's gonna pay for it. You know why? Because the Canadians love me. They just love me. They call me the Canadian machine. That's how much they love me. The Canadian machine. I don't remember being invited to any cocktail parties. I was there. I got to park cars and clean up people's puke. And we need to eliminate this ideology that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He Are you kidding me? Oh, deadly snack crackers, not again. Oh, looks like I got a backhand, somebody. Stay tuned for more of the GOP debate. Coming up after the break, we will check Ben Carson's pockets for any unused marijuana joints and tie John Kasich to a rubber band rope and bungee jump him off the top of a building to see if he's good for anything. Here, on the Clinton News Network. I mean, I mean, CNN. Yeah, CNN. Dang it.